Hi, I'm Brogan. That's Keith. This is Unnamed Podcast. Go! <laughs> well, that was uh, a pretty terrible introduction. Yeah, well, we haven't done one for a minute, so I forgot exactly how we do this. I don't think we do do this. Mm, I do do. I think it just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, we haven't seen each other for a while. No, nope, lots of new stuff going on in the world. All of it's stupid. It's storming outside right now. There's, I got hail on coming over. I screamed like a little bitch for the second that the hail hit me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I knocked on your door. I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, like, I saw it coming when I was coming back from Bloomington, and I was like, oh, this is going to suck balls. Yeah, it looks pretty fucking shitty out. It does look like a... Uh, Tornado weather? Yeah, it does, for real, but it, the only it, it was still, Like, I got out the car here, and it was, like, downpouring, and it was still, like, 80 degrees. I'm like, I don't think that's supposed to happen. No. It's too hot. It's too humid. Milk was a bad choice. It was a bad choice. I hope we never do that again. Yeah. That was dumb. So, uh, NFL draft. How'd yeah. that go? How'd that go for your Broncos? Uh, I honestly don't know. I don't know who we picked at all. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. Like, I, I saw some of the top picks and stuff. Apparently there was a few shocks, I guess. I don't really know. I know. I don't even know. The Rams picked that gay guy. Yeah, I've seen that in the seventh round. He probably won't make it, though, because they got so much pass rush already. He's going to be a special teamer. Yeah, I don't know. He could be depth. Like, they usually have have about... No. You see him kissing his boyfriend? I did. I seen it. It was adorable. I was like, like, oh, you guys are so gay. Yeah, gay people don't bother me. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. It's only funny to like yeah, it's, it's, say it to people like who do care. Yeah, who do care, yeah. Like if they're like, oh my god, uh, like, it's, it's fun to get people going. But I really, like people are people to me, I don't care. People. Except people. for blacks. <laughs> they're not humans. <laughs> We're talking to you, yo, yo. Yo, yo, you're getting called out. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> Planet of the Apes, a.k.a. the L.A. Riots. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> so Dude, yo, yo has a baby. I know. I know. I was like, what? I, I, didn't, I didn't even know she was I pregnant. I didn't either. Until they had the baby, I was yeah, like, I was what's like, going on? I was like, how come nobody ever said anything? <laughs> it's like, man, we really need to go to B-Dubs. We haven't seen you for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. This podcast is sponsored by B-Dubs. Rockstar Energy. <laughs> drink, um, if you want to be a rock star, drink Rockstar Energy. Yep, yep. Also, Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast. Coast, nigga. East West. Coast, West Coast. Fuck the East Coast. <laughs> no, dude. Uh... If we would have shot this like a, like two weeks ago, I was like ready weeks? to go fucking on blast. How many weeks though? How many weeks? Two weeks. <laughs> two, two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I love man. that movie. Total Recall. I don't awesome. Well, shit, man. Like fucking. Uh, have you seen the new one? Uh, yeah, it's only okay. I'm glad I haven't seen it. Yeah, that, it's, the, the, it's not. You can't top the original. The original like, is so awesome. It's so classic. Bad. Yeah, it's like bad, but like it's not the good. kind of bad movie that offends me. It's you as a party. <laughs> Throws his arms off. <laughs> Screw you, Benny. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger makes Benny's exclusively a bad dick. movies. Yeah, I know. Benny is a fucking asshole. And he's got a weird mutant hand. <laughs> you, you thought he had those kids, but he doesn't have kids. I know, man. What a bastard. He's a fucker. I felt, I felt so sorry also, for Benny. Also, Benny was black. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. He's a, tri- <laughs> he's a trickster. What do you... Oh, my God. It makes sense now. He's a good-for-nothing trickster. Ah, uh, Probably thinks he's a better dancer than me, too. He was breathing all the air. I know. <laughs> all of the white man's ass. Asshole. <laughs> no, but if we would have did this a couple of weeks ago, like, I was ready to go fucking on blast. Well, was, what, did we got any remnants of the blasting? That uh, be- okay, so I found out that... She is no longer married and getting a divorce, mm-hmm. and has like since moved uh, to a different town. Like all this is unbeknownst to me, which is fine because I haven't really been in the loop anyway. Yeah. However, but I found that out, and like I I I recently ran into her at the store like a couple days before that, and she didn't say anything to me about that, and I thought that was pretty strange because like that's kind of a big deal. Now, she's probably just keeping on the DL, probably, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. guessing. But I was like, at the same time, I was like... Well, you think you would tell your soulmate, you know? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like yo, you didn't hit me up, like, first thing. Like, you didn't like, want to talk through this? You didn't want me to let me hit you that on the rebound? Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to fucking, like, you know, try something. So then I, I ran to one of her friends, I was talking to her for a while, and her friend was saying how she, like, doesn't want to get back into a relationship right away and wants well, to so take it slow and stuff. Either, and I'm like, I'm like, she's like, just give her time. I'm like... No, fuck that. I want this thing right now or not ever, man. I know. We need to start calling you Dennis Rodman because you just get it always on the rebound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the worm. <laughs> oh shit, he dominates the broads. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I was like, fuck waiting, man. Like I've been, I've waited long enough for this shit. So I yeah, this is like, I, been, what, I text, like three years in the making, four yeah, years. Something I, like that? I text her a few times and I don't even get anything back. I don't know if that's just bad timing, but it was a text over like a different couple yeah. times. I'm like, oh, so you came and like even say hey or hi to me or anything now? I was like, what What happened, you know? I mean, yeah, she was like pissed at me about like me fucking going off on the other girl on Facebook a long time ago, but I'm like, fuck, that's like been a couple years ago. Ancient history, man. She's like, she doesn't, or they like, they didn't like that side of me. I'm like, well, they shouldn't have fucking put me in a position where I had to go fucking hard on them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, you were, I, I don't, you were I don't trying know. to be cool. I don't know how to fucking not go hard on somebody once we're at war. Like, I don't know how to stop. Yeah, it's no, just, right? it just don't start. No quarter. No yeah, quarter. I, I don't take prisoners. Like, if we're going to do this, we're going to go hard. I feel you on that. So, has, so, she, has she since? No, I haven't, no? I haven't heard nothing either. I'll, I'll hit her up right now and see what's up. All right, this is a podcast exclusive. A podcast exclusive! Kurt's trying to hit up some rebound! <laughs> oh, but that. like in in the in like she she was hanging out with this other guy like supposedly they're friends like I'm guessing mm-hmm. they're friends anyway and it was confirmed by her other friend that they're just friends and it's nothing more that because I like you know when somebody's like are they just friends and like you kind of cock your head to the You're side skeptical, like, like, mm, like mm, and they're like no you idiot they're just friends I'm like okay and then you then like when they say that you look at them and you do it again like, because you like, know better <laughs> skeptical Keith is skeptical <laughs> yeah. yeah and like they were talking about how like you know they were like went and did a bunch of shit together that day and hung out and had a good time and blah 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 and I was, I was fucking raging when I saw that shit like uh, I was I was playing magic and stuff and like I was down in Bloomington that weekend, and I saw that, and I was pissed. Not, and I, have, I guess I don't really have a right to be, but I was like, well, I mean, that should be mine, exactly. motherfucker. Like, like, she set you up. She led you on. And, and her friend said that she, her friend said uh, that she felt bad for, like, leading me on. So I'm like, what? What is everything, you know, like, I want to get to the bottom of this. I want to know, like, is everything you said just bullshit? Because, like, you, you were just, like trying to strand your husband because things weren't going well mm. or were you fucking being serious like or was I just getting played the whole fucking time so I looked like an asshole you know because the shit that she said she didn't have to to lead you on you know what I mean she could have just been like I think you're hot and you know you're like that but yeah. she was like you're my soulmate yeah uh, apparently that doesn't mean anything to girls I guess because I mean, they have no like, soul exactly maybe all girls are just ginger suck you by yeah god they just eat souls. They don't give a fuck about mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I don't I don't I honestly I don't really know if females actually care about you. I it's hard to say, man. And yeah, because you feel when they're with you, you feel like they do. You feel like you feel awesome. Like you feel like you can run through cars or mm-hmm. I don't, maybe cars isn't an example. I don't know why I said that. Maybe like walls, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, we're just gonna run through this car Boom. like the juggernaut and just fucking punt it. Juggernaut, no, it's bitch. Like, it's like I I know for a fact that like. When I was talking to her and, like, hanging out all the time, like, I felt like I could fucking, you know, do anything, man. I had all this, like, crazy extra energy and, like, I wanted, like, be awesome all the time and, like, look cool all the time. And I fucking... Yeah, you're on your I, game. I, I, it put you, I, at you, it put I you on the top of shit. your game. Yeah, yeah I, I gave a shit about things. I was like, oh, man, I gotta really start fucking buckling down and do this right. Yeah, you gotta rise to the next level, you know. But, I don't know, man. Yeah, because that's girls, man. They have the power to fucking build you up. And they have the power to just it's fucking crazy. topple you, man. I know. And we give them that power, dude. It's yeah. true. No way to not give them the power is just don't give a fuck. 100%. But, it, but it's just not in, like you especially, you're, it's not in I, you. Yeah, that's not who I am. Yep, so, and I know I'm the same way, man. I can't do it. So, but there are people out there who can, you know. Yeah, more power um, to them. Yeah. And they're the ones who end up with the bitches, and then the bitches end up with the stitches. And the kid. Oh. <laughs> and the single. And no money in the wallet because they have to pay child support. Yep. Not the yep. yin yang. Yep. Unless they just sign over rights. Yep. Because most of the time they don't because they're too dumb. Yeah, they're like, no, nah, I want to see my kid. And like, so I can raise him to be awesome and, like me. And, and deep down, they really don't. It's just they don't want other people to think bad of them. Exactly. They don't want to see their kid. They don't fucking care. Yeah, they, they don't. Speaking of not wanting to see my kid, I dirt bike all week this week. 
Because his mom. You want to see him fucking uppercutted? I want to see that motherfucker Mortal Kombat style. Push down in a fucking mud puddle. Fucking stomping on the back of his head. No. Yeah, dude. Seriously, hit him with the fucking chair. He's a fucking ass. Doesn't even see it coming. Just like, bam. He needs it. But yeah, yeah what does mom do? His fucking mom like is like, hey, I need you to. Uh, she's tell me she's staying with the fucking Palomar. She's living at the Palomar right now with Danny Field. I was like, uh, my kid's not staying there. Like, are you fucking crazy? So I took him for a week, not mm-hmm. having any kind of babysitter or warning. You know, I had to make it work on the fly. So I got to go to work and I got to have fucking people be watching him and shit. So that really fucking sucked. But it was awesome having him throughout the week. And like. She just, I don't know. I don't know what her... Wait, why did she move there? I thought she was living in Manunk or something. Yeah, she moved, she's moving from Manunk back to Thawville. Why? Um, women? <laughs> but, uh, I, 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 no, that's not a valid answer to me. I don't understand. That's the fact that she's retarded. I don't well, know. Why would you move in the first place if you, like, can't make it there? Well, she was going to be here. She's just like, oh, I'm moving without a job. Well, she, she had a job, oh. but it was at exact. In Pontiac? Yeah, so... Well, why would you move to Manunk if you're going to work in Pontiac? Uh, Manunk was cheaper. It was only 20 minutes away. And yeah, we had to spend more gas money. Yeah, but he, uh, her boyfriend at the time, Nick, was uh, working at the factory. So, I guess... Holy shit, that was loud. Yeah, that was right there. Yeah. Just witnessed both me and Keith fucking jump like little yeah. bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly thing, you, though. Fuck you. Good thing, <laughs> good thing this is an audio-only podcast. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be sweet if it picked it up. Oh, it will. It'll show it on the camera. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I mean, it's audio-only, so... Yeah, but... They, uh, hopefully they hear it. Yeah. But yeah, so she broke up with her boyfriend. Is that why she moved? Yeah, and then now she's with Danny. She's with Fealty. Like, little midget-ass Fealty? Yeah. From way back in the day? Oh, Fealty! Wow. Yeah. And they're living together at the Palomar. Yeah, well, she's getting, she yeah, she's staying at the Palomar right now because she's working at Exact. But then she is moving to Wait, why didn't she just move back to Thalbo? She is moving to Thalbo. Like, but they, like, they had a different place than what they had before? Well, yeah, they're moving in with their dad, but they needed like the week to tr- move, like to do the move. So she was staying in... Oh. Yeah, so... Okay. So it was a transition. So I got I got to have dirt bike for the week, which was cool. Uh, he went home today, or yesterday, and was fucking super sad crying. Like, I can't... I hate when he has to leave. Yeah. But, yeah. So I don't know. I don't understand bitches, dude. I really don't. Sounds like she's immature and doesn't fuck. Yeah, she is, because she fucking wants to be in open relationship with dudes and stuff. Like, I'm like, dude, stop. Don't bring all these that's guys just, around my kid. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not being a responsible parent. You can't just keep introducing new dudes to your fucking kid. It's fucking whatever, man. You can't. I just, I don't know. I don't understand why people do the shit they do. Um, don't try to understand them, because there's no point. There's really no motive most of the time. Except stupidity. Is that a motive? A stupidity motive? Yes. Honestly, I think that's the first time I've ever seen you burp. Yeah, that was a good one. Like, ever. I usually I'm, don't. I'm not, I'm not convinced that it wasn't a fart, because that guy, <laughs> looks, that guy <laughs> looks like like your ass is like talking to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Make that big chow. So, yeah, um... Got another subject here that's like we kind of discussed online a little bit, like on a, a Facebook status. Okay. Uh, top five frontmen in music. What do you oh, think? I, w- I wanted to go a different direction first. Okay, let's go a different direction. Since here. we're still on topic of hoes. Oh, we're on topic of hoes. We always are. This is the name of podcast. So, I mean, that's what we talk about. Yeah. Well, Speaking well, of hoes. What happened to Emmy? <laughs> she is uh, getting 15 years in Like prison? for sure? Oh, that's what they offered her. Is it like, is like the least amount of like, hey, we'll give you 15? Well, I mean, that's the first offer. Like, usually... It's like, give me a better offer. Yeah, there's another chance that she could go to court and get less. But they want her just to take what? the offer because they got overwhelming evidence. They think they could, like, get her more than 15? Uh, there's a pos- It's like the... It can run anywhere between 2 and 20, so... Two... Two years! <laughs> really? Two years to... How many years? 20. Two to 20. So they just want her to accept 15? That's a long time. Yep. I mean, like, even even cut in half for good behavior, that's still yeah. seven years. And how old is she right now? 21 or 22. She, she got when she's, like, late 20s. That's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, it's the situation is messed up because her boyfriend, who got arrested up north, just got all his charges dropped. And she took all the blame. 
So he's gonna get off scot free, and she's Why gonna. Why did she decide to do that? Because she thought that they were both gonna be in prison together, like not together, but like at the same time, so that she she wouldn't have to worry about him leaving her. That is fucking. Girls are dumb. Girls are dumb. Are you fucking serious? Wow, man. Mm-hmm. I don't. Wow, I'm completely baffled. I know, dude. I don't understand it either. But she. Fuck. Okay, she um. Wrote me a letter. Uh, say, two saying, letters. Two letters. To get back with her. Uh, one letter was. Will you marry me like last time? Yeah. One 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 letter was saying that she was still in love with me. Then you they're like, why'd you break up with me? Yeah. And then the other letter that was in the same same envelope was pretty much her saying that all this was my fault for dumping for like not being with her and like not being there for her. What? Even though she blatantly dumped me to get with other dudes. Like I wish it was just other dude, but she's. Just, Dudes, other dudes. Sorry, I'm fucking everybody. Well, I don't, I don't know about. That. I don't want to like speculate, but yes. <laughs> I don't want to speculate, but yes. So, do you think she might have been fucking like dudes behind your back? When you oh yeah, for sure. Like people, uh, I, told I worked. You that? Yeah, they, they, they one like, guy, hey, one guy I worked with, like came up and apologized. He's me. like, hey, I didn't know yeah. you guys were together. She didn't say anything. Yeah, because she was like saying that she was single and stuff. He's like, I'm so sorry. He's like, I'm, I'm legitimately, like, I swear I did not know. And I was like, I was like, it's fine, man. Wow. So then, like, why is she saying, like, I love you, break up with you, then, like, fuck all these other dudes behind your back and shit? Um, because girls are fucking stupid. Yeah, apparently so. And I have a small peen. Yeah. We already knew that. Apart, apparently. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think they care. I just think they want to just get it from whoever, whenever. Yeah, they're, it, like, it, it, like, the girls can be, like, it's, it's honestly like that Jay-Z song, it's like, uh, they need, gr- girls need blinders like horses. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, that's not the exact line, of course. Yeah, but, but it's it, true. It, it, yeah, if if girls don't have their set focus on one thing, they, they, they just fucking look at everything. And that's, they, girls seriously need blinders. Yeah, because, like, I'm with Trish, yeah. and I don't even talk to other girls. You know what I mean? I got no reason to. Like, I love Trish, and I'm get, willing to give her this chance and, like, be there. And, uh... But I, that, it's easy for me to do that, like just stay focused. But girls, yeah, they're with a guy and they're like, "This guy's all right, but this guy and this guy and this guy." Yeah. Like, and I, it's not, I know it's not just me. Yeah. Like, it's not my only my mentality to do that. It's there's, it's like girls are always scamming. They like have like the next guy they're gonna go to if if like the moment they get mad at their guy or whatever. They, mm-hmm. they, got yeah, they always got something on backup. So, so going to some other guy, like, eat instantly. Yeah, no, and that's what sucks, because you never get 100% of a girl when you're with her. Like, because yeah. she is, like, always, she'd give you, like, 80%. I want somebody to prove me wrong. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're, we're raging here, and, like, it's amazing, like, we're bashing. Just prove us wrong, it, then, motherfuckers. It, or you could say that we're whining. We are whining a little bit. We yeah. are. This is a kind of a whiny podcast. We do bitch a lot. But... Yeah. We're coming correct. We we were just trying to understand the under, trying to understand something that's like like this isn't something that we're not we don't know. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we we know we're but bitching we're about the shit that happened. Like yeah, like, for real. This, like like this all goes down. And we're like we don't understand why. Yeah, like it's they don't know what they want. Apparently, uh, maybe maybe we haven't met any women. Yeah, man, just all these we, girls. We just met girls because women it, know what they want and girls just. It's very symptomatic. Of yeah. Money. Yeah. It's, it's pretty bad. Speaking of which, is Brittany still with that one guy? Yeah. Okay. I, I think they moved away. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, and like all these girls like trying to like say shit to you while you're with Trish. Like you should come hang yep, out. Exactly. And stuff like that. Exactly. I ran into. Uh, Girl, why do Why do girls? As soon as you, they know you have a girlfriend. They 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 like start hitting on you and like want you then it's only because they're trying to feed their fucking egos to see that they can, yeah, steal, they can somebody. steal somebody away exactly That's, it's fucking and, and what's really fucked up based. about girls is they're like oh i'm ugly i'm ugly i'm ugly but then they're like but i can get you you know what i mean like yeah it's like so am i really ugly if you they, they're get fucking me? they're fishing for compliments yeah they just they're they're that insecure and i don't know if i blame society or what like they're that insecure yeah but the only way to get chicks that are like really hot it's a fucking make them feel like shit. Exactly, because they know they're their shit. Yeah. And, like, you have to be like, whatever, bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. I know, I can't do it, man. When I, when I like somebody, I want to tell them and show them, yeah. you know? Like, you gotta, 
I'm way too much because because they because they hear about how they're pretty and all this kind of stuff all the time. They don't want to hear about that kind yeah, of stuff. Exactly. They want you to point out their flaws. Yep. Like, <laughs> how does that make I don't sense? fucking know, dude. Like you'd be all right. Your ass is a little bit nicer. You know, like yeah. you gotta fucking. Uh, I can't do it, man. Yeah. It's like what happened to your ass? Like, I just want to know how you grow a nose on your ass. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, oh, shit, that's your face. Who, who, who took the steamroller to your flat ass, uh, bitch? Girls with unfortunate flat asses. I know. Like, my kid's really there, there's, there, there's, a, there's a difference between having a small butt and a flat pancake ass. Yeah, exactly. Like, small butts can be cute. Yeah. They can be very cute. Okay. As long as it's, like, you know, still, like, get the, the it looks tuck. looks like a butt. The tuck is, like, what's yes. important. When you look at a butt... See, like the little smileys on each leg. Fitness minute. Fitness minute for a second. Girls, if you want to have a nice ass, you have to do squats. Squats, bro. Squats are the most important whether, whether thing. Whether you're squatting you with a barbell good... or you're squatting on my nigga Keith's dick, you yeah. got to do them. Yeah. You got to do them. You got to squat something. <laughs> you got to squat but it out. That's the best way to get a fucking nice butt, girls. You have to do your squats. But anyway, continue. Uh, are my kids really into them, the fucking yeah. Wrecking Ball video. Like the song. I would like to fuck Miley. Oh, yeah. I would, I would fuck Miley, too. But, like, that video breaks my heart every time. She looks better with her, like, short, kind of, like, crazy hair than she did when she yeah, was, when like, long. had long hair. But that bitch got big teeth. Ridiculous. I don't think she can close her mouth all the way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, she looks strange. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean she gives good head? Uh, probably or, not. Or good, or good dick scrapes. Yeah, dick scrapes. <laughs> oh, Right in your vein. Oh, that's the worst, dude. That's the worst. The vein between the teeth. Like, when you're getting head and you hear, <laughs> you're like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you don't want that, dude. You don't want that. Mm-mm. <laughs> that's funny. Um, so... You mentioned vocalists, yep. huh? So well, frontmen. I'm front not going to go vocals because it's hard to gauge okay. best singers. Okay, that's fine. But, like, who would you want to have fronting your band, like, to fucking be the guy that, like, everybody fucking is like, oh, shit, this is the guy. So who who is your top five? We'll go five. I mean, we did top five girls we want to bang, so we'll go top five uh, guys we obviously want to bang. We did top five. Yeah, we did that one time, remember? I think we did three, and I don't think it was on camera. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. A lot of the good stuff we don't record. Yeah, think like, it's like we completely forget. Like, we start talking before the show starts, and that's when we do some pretty good material. Yep. But um, top five, this, this counts live and their ability and all Yeah, that like, stuff. You, like, you factor in everything, like. But like, who would you like if you if you're starting a band and you can pick any singer in the world to be your guy? Who's it gonna be? Honestly, without even thinking, just snap pick. Not not even thinking. Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor. Just bam. I, I think that is a solid fucking pick. Yes, I, I I like the fact that he can do all these different vocal. Reviews. Yeah, exactly. He can, his his scream is fucking metal as fuck. Like no one yeah. touches his scream, and his fucking singing voice is amazing too. Like he's got yeah. good range. Like, he can do acoustic and he can do thrash. Like, you can form any kind of band you want with Corey Taylor. Probably country, too. Probably. So, that's your pick as well? No, my pick, uh, Maynard James Keenan. But that's because I have a man crush on him. Even though he looks kind of weird? I don't care about how he looks like. People love him, dude. That's part of the man crush. You have to, like, like that's a good looking dude. Yeah, but I'm also going with his, his ability as a singer. Because okay. he has, like, three different bands and none of them sound the same. Closer for uh, Perfect Circle and Tool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going with, uh, like, the, the fact that he's an amazing songwriter. Did you just fart? It was like a trumpet. <laughs> well, if I'm going to pick trumpeters. <laughs> Dizzy Gillespie I, I, and then I, you. <laughs> I aimed right at you. It was kind of warm. It was a warm fart because I had wings a little bit. And I was like, oh, oh God. <laughs> You just threw a fart at me. <laughs> I, I, so apparently you're shitting on my pick. You're like, no, nope, Nana James Keenan. <laughs> Bad call, bro. <laughs> no, I, I totally forgot about Maynard. All right. Um, wow. Okay, so. He's pretty good. Yeah, like, I like, I think he's got good range. But he, he doesn't do the metal type thing. Well, he can. Like, dude. he doesn't, like, the yelling and stuff. Yeah, but he can, though. Like, in, in some, some Tool songs, he really does. He gets that shit, man. 
Get that shit, Like, girl. think about uh, Hooker with a Penis. That whole song, he's kind of screaming in that. I don't know. I don't think it's the same kind of metal scream. Well, it's not the Cookie Monster style. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Cookie! <laughs> you just turned into a death metal concert yep. in here. We long to kill! <laughs> this is Brogan and Keith's Death Metal Cup Podcast! <laughs> hmm, Maynard. Who else, who else besides those two, though? Uh, Freddie Mercury. That's it. It's just a... Uh, in terms of frontman, this is top five, so... I, th- I think Freddie Mercury is probably the best frontman of all time. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, it, it's but really, he doesn't have the range, like, in terms yeah, of... He, does, he can do one style, Yeah. but he fucking crushes it. Yeah, like, I agree. He fucking nails it. And, yeah, he's probably the best. And he's so charismatic, and, like, yeah, just, yeah, for sure. just hopping around on stage. Everyone fucking loves Freddie Mercury. Yeah, Even the internet to this day loves Freddie Mercury. Yeah, it's really hard to beat Freddie Mercury. Um, Who else... Um, what about like uh, I'm not This isn't for me Okay But like uh, Phil Anselmo Phil, Phil only has one Style of vocal though Well he can sing too I, mean, I, I think Phil's uh, good Cemetery Gates if, if he has a rock I don't think he can do That kind of singing anymore mm-hmm. Very well I, I haven't heard it though But I'm, I'm gonna actually See Down here in, Like this That's week That's awesome so. Down is a good band dude Yeah like, I, love this, I, I that like whole, Down The whole sludge Fucking slow Burning yeah. metal thing they do. But uh I think Phil's Really good if you're a metal band. Like if you, he can, he's like perfect for a metal band. Perfect for a heavy rock band. You know. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, what about uh, a motherfucking uh, Axl Rose in his prime or a David Lee Roth type? Ooh, uh, David Lee Roth is an awesome performer. He's not the best vocalist. Yeah, like, he, he's I always, fucking, I always thought he had a weird voice. He's a, ha- awesome, but he vocals. is a good frontman. Yeah, he's a great frontman. Um, who's the other one you said? Uh, Axel Rhodes in his prime. I don't know. I guess he's okay. Uh, well, here's like a dark horse pick that no one really would think about. Like uh, Axel Dope. We've seen him live a few times. He engages the crowd. Yeah, he's really good live. I I, I like that. And I love Dope. Like I'm a I'm a big fan of his voice. I think there, it sounds cool. He's, he's pretty good live. Like there's always you always feel the energy at, at their shows. Exactly, he he doesn't just stand there and sing. Like he moves around and fucking yeah. jumps, plays guitar, fucking has a lot of energy. Still looks yeah. like a teenager up there. <laughs> he's like probably almost forty. Now. Oh yeah, he's definitely old as shit. Their fucking Thugs Revolutionaries came out in ninety nine. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure if it's my fart or my feet smell. It might be both. Did you fart <laughs> on your feet? <laughs> I was aimed at you, so I could toss it. Rolled up there. the leg, you feel it go up behind the knee. Ah! <laughs> Roll like over a, your dotted a, line ankle. It's a fucking tremor. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Those tremors, she's scared the shit out of me. I was afraid I was going to get really? snaked in the butt. <laughs> in the butt? Yeah, like while I'm sitting on the toilet, one of those snake things is going to come out of the toilet and fucking really? eat my butt. Really? When you were little? Yeah. Dude, that's... What, what do you mean when I was little? Like, today. I was like, uh... <laughs> Kind of suspect. <laughs> no, I mean, I was like, well, I, I watched Trippers last night, and I woke up, and I thought one's going to get me in the butt. <laughs> that would suck. I know, dude. It would be a fucking terrible, terrible thing. Um, What about Ivan Moody from Five Finger? I do love Ivan Moody. I love him more in Moto Grader. Because uh, mm-hmm. Five Finger, all their songs kind of sound the same. They, they really do, honestly. But uh, Moto Grader, he was fucking crazy, all painted up red and going just ape shit on stage. I'm also gonna throw out Adam D. He's not a singer, but he's definitely the frontman of Kill Switch. Adam D. Shut up. He is, dude. He's the frontman. How do you How do you think he's the frontman? Because he's the guy who does all the talking on stage. Lighter. It's just the same thing with uh, Serge Tankian. He's not the frontman of System. The fucking guitarist is. Really? Serge Tankian's a singer, but the singer, the, the guitarist guy, does all the talking and shit. Really? Yeah. Like you gotta take that kind of stuff into consideration too. Who's the face of your band? You know? Okay. Here's a better question. If your band is bigger, is it the singer is always the face, right? Usually. That's the only way you're gonna, gonna have a big yeah, band. Yeah, they want they well, want. Who's a who's a fucking really popular band that doesn't have the lead singer as the main guy? Like I said, system uh, kill switch and gauge the system of now too. I don't know. Yeah, maybe Adam just because his personality. Just... Yeah, like like I said, like if you see them live, they, 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 it's it's he doesn't. Uh, no one else talks really. Yeah, it's usually him. Yeah. That's fine. I also okay. also really like this is another Dark Horse pick. I really like Mike Terry a lot. The guy who sang for Bury Your Dead for a couple CDs, and he's got his own solo stuff. I don't remember. Bury Your Dead, dude. 
Oh yeah, I got the one CD, but I don't. Yeah, that's like the CD with him on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that's Mike Terry, black guy, metal guy. Yeah. What do you think about? Uh, I've been listening to a lot more punk rock lately. Yes. Yeah, I've, I've been listening to Faction. I mean, they play like a lot of different stuff, but they have a lot of punk music too, and. I'm starting to get into more punk now. Yeah, like because I was I was about to say that uh, Glenn Danzig. See, I have to say no. Nay to Danzig. You don't because, like rock and roll Elvis? Because you have to fucking say Morrison then, because he was before him. Yeah, I know, it sounds like Danzig was just like a Morrison clone. Yeah, no, but Danzig does it. Better. He does it better? Because that guy from fucking Bowlby is trying to be Danzig so hard, but he's no the Montes. No the Montes. Yeah, I, I can't. It, it sounds like the it, I don't like the vocals at all. It sounds like if Metallica was trying to get Danzig to sing for him, and Danzig was like, "I'm just gonna phone it in." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Yeah. So, but I do love me some fucking uh, Glenn Danzig dude because I think he's awesome. Like he's a good stage present. Oh, be the He can't take a punch. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he can't. He has a glass jaw. Yeah, he has a glass jaw. Speaking of fights, did you see that fight last night? Yes, dude. That's how you post it, man. Yeah. I fucking. mean, grand, grand, the quality sucked. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, obviously. but still, it was fun. Like, I watched that whole fight live. Oh, my God, dude. That was a fucking just, like, war. I, I thought they were going to, like, get, it was going to get stopped in the first, and I thought it was going to get stopped in the second, and it somehow went to a third. And I was like, holy fuck. This is crazy. I know. It was they're, they're already calling for that as, like, fight of the year. Or, actually, yeah, Ooh. probably fight of the year, because there really hasn't been anything yet this year. Yeah, not yet. But I guess their calendar year starts last year, and it's not. Yeah. yeah. So technically, it's like there's three fights right now, that and it's one of the three that's listed is like three of the best of the year, and possibly even one of the best of all time though. Yeah, they're I saying I, know, I was like, they call wow, it classic, and I can agree it, with it. Man. It, it was honestly, I have like my jaw was on the floor the whole fight. I was like, how are they still going? I know, man. It was fucking brutal. Like it wasn't like the like a bloody fight or anything like that. But, but it's like people there were, was just so much punishment. Yeah, man. exactly. People were getting and so many nailed, fucking like bombs dropped just and, dropped. Yeah, man. I know. I, I thought like seriously, like they, there was a couple times that both of them were out on their feet. Like, yeah, they were both done. Like they were just fighting on replay. Like, <laughs> like for a second there, like I'm a I, I'm a big Matt, Matt Brown guy. Like I I watched him come up on Ultimate Fighter, and I really like his style. Like I don't think he's the best. It, it, but he's entertaining. It, but he he is really tough and has heart and doesn't fucking quit. Exactly. And sometimes and, uh, heart can replace lack of it can be like counteract for lack of skill, yeah. Yeah. And so I I was watching and when I saw him get hit with that liver kick and he went down, I was like, Oh no, fuck. And like somehow he survived and fought his way out of it and got to the point in the round where by the end of it, I wasn't sure who won that round. Because he battled back and just started fucking dropping bombs on I was like, I don't know who won that round now. Yeah. That, that's how fucking, like, it, it shifted from, like, complete dominance to complete dominance the other way. And I was like, Whoa. Yeah, like, if it had gone the distance, I don't know who I would pick. Uh, I think Matt had the second. So, it, at worst, at that point, it was one-to-one. -one. Granted, got stopped on the third. I think it probably could have been two-one at that point. Yeah. But just, just... So much energy expent. I was like, "There's no way this can go five. Just of how much punishment both of these guys have taken. It's a testament to both of their fucking cardio. <laughs> yeah, well, cardio and fucking able to take damage. That that was both of them are gonna be laid out for a while. Dude, if that's the case, that's... your vagina and butthole would be the greatest fighter of all time because it can take the most damage I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty accurate. Is that what they used to call it... your vagina? The ultimate fighter. <laughs> <laughs> It takes the most punch. It takes the most headshots. Yep. Blows to the head. <laughs> All these blows to the head is ridiculous. You can't it see. Is, you can't it see. Is, it is ridiculous. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. I got one for you. All right. Hulk, uh, Hulk Hogan has been in money. Hulk Hogan is a good front man. <laughs> no, 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 no,
Mm-hmm. And he's had it rough, dude. Think about this. Like, his wife left him for, like, a 17-year-old, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and <laughs> they, they took his house and his boats and his cars. A 17-year-old has all your Chevys, and he's fucking your ex-wife. <laughs> so, so it's just natural that he's, you know, running into money problems. Yep. So I was trying to think, what kind of career opportunities can Hulk do to make money? What can Hulk Hogan do to make money? Now, my first thought was... He opens up his fucking own Sam's Club called Bulkamania. Seriously, who does not want to? Who does not want to go to Bulkamania and fucking buy like their toilet paper in bulk and their like hamburger patties in bulk? It's fucking Bulkamania, man. It should be running wild. It, we're slashing prices, brother. We like the these savings. These savings are running wild. Sam Walton isn't even alive to face me at Mania. <laughs> It's, it's, like, what, like, how, how about this one? <laughs> Hulk Hogan phone sex operator. <laughs> like, he, like, you call up, like, first of all, like, I, I don't, I, I guess we, we've never, like, call, like, phone hot sex line, you know? Yeah. Like, you can just imagine, like, oh, what are you wearing? And he's like, what are you wearing, brother? Like, <laughs> I'm wearing a yellow wrestling singlet. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, describe yourself. I've got golden locks. <laughs> you got golden locks with no hair on top of my head. I also have a feather boa, brother. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like, wow. If I heard that Hulk was like on a sex hotline, I might have to call it. Now, now, it's really in, Hogan. In your sexiest Hulk Hogan voice, describe your twenty-four inch pythons. <laughs> <laughs> My succulent toy four inch pythons will have you creaming in your panties. That's not even the Hulk Hogan voice. I don't hear your voice. <laughs> Brother, can't it go on? <laughs> hey, you want to have sex with my daughter? Hey. Pow, 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 24 inch pythons. <laughs> yeah, and like, those are some pretty good, like, career opportunities. I think he, like, Bulkamania. We should we should send Hulk Hogan a letter and tell him that he should come and be our roommate. Did, did, <laughs> oh my god, that would be so fucking Like, cool. just offer him, be like, hey, Hulk Hogan, come live with us, bro. <laughs> did you know that originally George Foreman was offered the Hulk Hogan thing? They originally offered the Hulk Hogan. The Foreman he, group? Yeah, and he turned it down. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I think in the long run, that might have been a better move. I don't George so. Foreman had to sell his name. Like, the George Foreman brand is not owned by George Foreman anymore. He sold his name to that company. Hulk Hogan couldn't do that. It's worth way too much. Yeah. Like, because the merchandising for Hulk Hogan is a little bit more there. Okay, that's fine. I just think that he should just sign as an ambassador for the WWE and just, like, work for them. He probably does. Like, I mean, he came back to that Mania contract. Yeah, but I don't know if he only came back for Mania. I I think it was. Maybe he can fight Sting. No. Did Sting sign with WWE? He said he can't wrestle anymore. Did Sting sign with WWE, though? Allegedly. Because... They, they said they changed it four hours before the decision with Undertaker and Brock. Now, the only three people that knew, that that legitimately knew, was Brock, Undertaker, and Vince. Not even Heyman? Yeah, they didn't tell anybody else. Hmm. That's why the ref would look so shocked when he, like, kind of hesitated to count the three. Yeah, and the fucking dude didn't even ring the bell. Yeah, because they didn't tell anybody. Yeah, it was like... And everybody's like... Oh shit! I love that that fucking black guy. Yeah, dude. like everybody, dude. He's he, he's like all over the internet. He's right incredulous, now. man. Yeah. Like I was like, ah, oh, he's like so shocked. Dude, I was shocked too. Like everybody. Was. I know, like like it was funny because we weren't even really paying attention. We were like talking, and all of a sudden that happened. We were like, Undertaker just lost. Like, what? Because <laughs> like, we were bullshitting. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't know. Maybe Hulk Hogan can sell like boats or something. Like he kind of does like the whole speedboat thing. Yeah, yeah, fucking Thunder in Paradise. Yeah. I'd buy a fucking boat from him. He knows what he's I doing. want to take my boat into your Thunder of Paradise, ladies. <laughs> Brother. This is Hulk Hogan. This is I Hulk Hogan. I'm going to power my boat into your fucking... Dock? Your rusty cove. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay. How long, how long till Hulk Hogan dies now? Like, everyone else seems to be dying. When's Hulk uh, Hogan? I think Hulk Hogan's Hogan. number up. He's an American hero. I don't think he's going to die for a long time. American hero? <laughs> he's an American hero. How is he not? Yeah, true. He did win us the Cold War by being in that Rocky movie, right? He what? He is Thunder Lips, the ultimate male. He is the ultimate male. He could have beat Ivan Drago. He has, he has five girls that he pleasures. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, oh man, I don't even want to fuck my wife tonight. This guy's fucking five girls every night. 
And he's like, I can handle more, brother. And Amagi's the ultimate man. Then, then he fucking headbutts the bitches and then go fucking flying <laughs> and shit, dude. And he like body slams up through tables. Well, see, that, that, that's another thing that fucking proves our point. Those bitches want to be around him, but he fucking body slams them through tables. Yeah, they, girls like to kind of get beat up a little bit. Exactly. Like, hitting it doggy style, grab up, grab their hair, turn your hand, and just pull back. And they fucking, like, rear back. Yep. They do like it they rough. They like it. Girls like it rough, in my experience. Like, they, they may act all meek outside the bedroom, but in the bedroom, it's they like... They want you to be fucking it's like... It's like, just punch me in the kidneys! Like, fucking like, throw me in the sharpshooter. You know, yeah, like, what? Like, I don't know if I can do that. I, like, I don't know if I can bend my penis in a way that I can put you in the sharpshooter and hit it. I know. I'll try. I'll, it never works. My dick is not a balloon animal. It's hard to bend something ah, so small. Ah, and I can't bend it. <laughs> it's, it's, like like a, it's kind of like more like a hinge. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... I can, like, force it down. <laughs> That's it. Like... <laughs> It's kind of like throwing a thimble at an airplane hangar. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other career opportunities that the Hulk has. I still say we should write him a letter and tell me she should come room with us. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. And like he comes and fucking stays with us. Like, <laughs> all right. Nuclear. 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 Uh, nu- it's pronounced nuclear. 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 Is it nuclear? The G is silent. Nuclear. <laughs> there is no G in nuclear. 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 <laughs> nuclear. Yeah, I read it about it in the library. There's no G, you asshole. I read about it in the library. <laughs> the library. The planet Arium. Planet Arium. I have a bone disease. Why are you saying it like that? A weird bone disease. A bone disease in your butt. There's a diseased bone in my butt. I'm sorry, let me pull it out. <laughs> Anal <Animal> beads. <laughs> I hate porn stars. Why? Because, like, all... I don't know. Like, I follow some on, like, Twitter. Mm-hmm. And all they do is either talk about how they're getting banged or they're going to go smoke weed. Or drink. Yeah. And I'm like, that sounds like a sucky life. Because that's all they do. Like, are they that worthless to society? That's all they can do is just get fucked all the time? Keep their porn stars. I know. But Obviously, they're not right in the head completely. Yeah, they're like all like fucked up people. But are all girls secretly want to be porn stars. All girls secretly want to have sex with Brandon Brogan. That's one's a true one's fact. A da- one's with Down Syndrome, maybe. Yeah. Anybody who's fucked Brogan out there listening to this... You have Down syndrome. Fuck you, die. Yep, from my jizz. <laughs> from your jizz. Yep. They have going down syndrome. Ooh. Also herpes. Sorry. <laughs> they tested. Uh, the doctor says it's not just a rash. It won't go away. Yeah, <laughs> also, what is it with chicks who like blatantly will bang dudes who they know have herpes or genital warts? Talking about Dero here. Do they know that? Yeah, he he talks about it. He calls his dick his bumpy pickle. Dude, that's fucking disgusting. I agree. You work with him or something? No. no. I just know him. I'm sorry. You know him too? Yeah, only because I went to school with him like grade school yeah. before he dropped out. And he stayed at your house a lot and gave you his bumpy pickle. <laughs> that's not, that's not kind of like, sounds like on par with like rusty trombone. Yeah. My bumpy pickle. Bumpy, bumpy, I'll bumpy. give you my bumpy pickle. Do you want dill or sweet? Oh, bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> the blind assassin. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know, dude. Sex movies are awesome, and they have awesome names. I like it when they're like they have a name that's like completely disconnected from the what it is. The shark. Yep. <laughs> the fucking he should have been the iron. I know it made too much sense. Sean, the iron shark. <laughs> that's, that's why they couldn't do it because it made too much sense. No, I'm the muscle shark because. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should I should start telling that to people. Like if they ever like why why did you say that? But because <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> That's why. Maybe people start liking me more if I start doing that. Yeah, if you're fucking sassy. People like sass. <laughs> give me that ass, girl. Give me that ass and I'll give you the give sass. This, I'll give you the sass. Sexy sass fries. <laughs> so when you uh, go to the gym, do you ever see Jake Cunningham in there? Uh I have before, but not recently. Okay. Because I saw him the other day, 
That bro skips legs day, bro. <laughs> I, know. I know. I I've never seen him lift legs when I was. I feel like he's so ch- he has chicken legs, but like his upper body, I like you're gonna fall over, dude. There's, there's a few guys like that there. I know. I was giving him shit. Yeah, like they're they're like there's this other guy there. I don't know his name, but he's like he like literally walks like this. He can't put his arms to his sides anymore. Can he wipe his butt? I don't know, but it's really fucking disturbing. Like I don't know. <laughs> Someone like that. God. Follow the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, you hey, you need help, you you help bro? bro? <laughs> but, like, I've never seen that guy do legs either. Like, a lot of the people there, honestly, pretty much everybody that goes there, I've never seen a lot of people do legs. Yeah, that's crazy to me, dude. Like, Because, like, literally, all your power comes from your legs, man. But I guess girls don't want to rest their, bu- their fucking I, t- titties up against your legs. Yeah, so. honest, honestly, I've asked a few girls that I have gone to the gym. They said they only care about how big your arms are. They, they don't care. Like, if the rest of you, like, looks disproportionate. That's fucking as long as you have, Just as long as you have big arms, they don't care. Do you ever, like, look at it and be like, what about this? And, like, rub down by your knee? Yeah. <laughs> On this? But I can't do legs, bro, because I'll hurt my dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to squat, like, when you got, like, a pole stopping you. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like a kickstand. You're, I can like, only go down, down so far. Like, <laughs> 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 Oh, the gym. Bulkamania. <laughs> Buy your supplies here, brother. We're going to leg drop the prices of our competitors. <laughs> we have five. We're going to body slam the competition. We have the five moves of doom plan. <laughs> is, is he the original five moves of doom? Uh, or is yeah. that Warrior? I think it was Hogan, dude. Because Hogan was there before Warrior. And he had the body slam, the big body slam. The, the plane goes the into a nose dive. Hulk. 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 We're out of the rocket fuel. Fuel the ship full of rocket fuel. Oh, <laughs> I have a state police badge. Why? Is it a rusty sheriff's badge? No, it's a state police officer gave it to me. I know, but is it rusty and does it like, look like a sheriff's badge? <laughs> no, but I can put one on your forehead. Yeah, you should be like, a state trooper gave me a rusty sheriff's yeah, badge. Like, Excuse me for a, a moment while I go laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? We were talking about my rusty shirt. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I'm six. <laughs> I will laugh every time. I don't care. Yeah, I don't give a shit either. Like, there's no time. Like, it's it's bad. Like, because I run steel columns at work. And so it makes sense. Like, there's a lot of jokes I could be making that, like, talk about lengths. Dude, you... <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> you really? Yeah, my fucking boss is like... You're an idiot. I know. <laughs> I can't yeah. help it. You work at a gay steel mill. How was I supposed to know he was gay? How do you feel we about that? Hard, we play How hard. do you feel about working at a gay steel mill? Pretty gay about it. Everybody dance now. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so, uh, have you uh, seen any uh, new movie previews that you want to go see, brother? i seen... Uh, There's new movies? Yeah, uh, the new Transformers movies yeah, coming out. It's like... What, June or July? Mm-hmm. New Ninja Turtles movie coming out. Uh, new Godzilla movie coming out. I know you're not a big fan of Godzilla, but I am. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't heard any new fucking music here lately either, man. I am not psyched for Godzilla. They've already done it a few times. Why do I need to see it again? Because they're going to do it right this time. How, do you figure? Matthew Broderick is not involved. I fucking hate Ferris Bueller. Who's Matthew Broderick? Ferris Bueller. Would you bang? Yes, Matthew Broderick, probably. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, no. Really? Yeah, whenever they cast her in the lead, like, I wouldn't bang Julia Roberts either, for the record. Really? But whenever they cast her in the lead... I would bang both of them. And the romantic comedy, I'm like, we couldn't find anyone. What about Sex and the City? Would no. you bang her when she was in Sex and the City? Would I bang Sex and the City? No. No, no <laughs> she's not attractive to me. Would you bang any of the girls from Sex and the City? Kim Cattrall, probably. Which is that? The one who was in Big Trouble in Little China. Holy shit, dude! What? There's a fucking spider on my leg, man. It's a big motherfucker. Uh, step on him, bro. I'm not wearing shoes. That one right there? Yeah, look at this fucking thing. Put it on right there. Did you smash it? Yeah, I got it. It was crawling on me, man. I was like, what the fuck? Ah, why are you hitting at me? <laughs> That's probably the big... Oh, I thought I just moved for a second. Is it dead? Yeah. It was like yellow and black. It was black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Hey, wake up. That's a thunderstorm warning. Uh-oh. Flash forward warning. Flash forward warning for this area. Fuck. 
thought you knew it was crawling on you. Because I felt it crawl on my arm, dude. Oh, and you're like, ah! Yeah. I'm like, what, what the bite? fuck is that genuinely touching me? I hope it didn't bite me. No, you would have felt it. That's probably the one I saw in the fucking, uh, in the window the other day. There's nothing worse than seeing a spider and then not seeing a spider and not knowing where it went. Oh, yeah, yeah. I fucking hate spiders, man. Yeah, I just got my flash flood warning, too. <laughs> it, you know what's going to be really funny? That's going to be on the fucking podcast. I'm going to be going, ah! Oh, man. <laughs> like, definitely not afraid of spiders, like, but I uh, don't want them on me, either. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, I would let a tarantula crawl on me. I don't like poisonous spiders, because I don't want to get bit. Yeah. But, yeah, they don't creep me out or anything like that. I'm down with the spider bros. I wouldn't have killed him if I if I would have known he wasn't gonna hurt somebody. I would kill them all. Fuck, can't stand any of those motherfuckers. I'm shooting to kill. Shoot to kill, son. Some oh, cheese on a spider. What? <laughs> yeah, if it would stay there, I'm like, let me actually shoot my load out of it. I would. If it couldn't jump on my penis and crawl in the hole and then yeah. bite me and lay inside. Oh, that'd be the worst. <laughs> right? That's fucked up. Why are we talking about that? I don't know. On the podcast, no less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute, man. Uh, any any new news? Anything Nudes. new in your life going on? Nudes? I don't know. I'm, I'm considering. I don't. I don't know how I would do this, but applying to Sirius XM, like, and working working for, for Sirius? Sirius XM, like, like one of the shows, or maybe even being a host or yeah, helping, being, being an intern or whatever. Or, the way yeah, you way up. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. But considering, like trying to get involved with that because I mean I listen to music all the time anyway and I like music and I always have music going it just makes sense to do something like music make, related cr- yeah career music not even like now I'm not saying like make my own music or whatever but like but, but be involved like, yeah and like they get sent to shows and stuff all the time you interview people and, yeah yeah and they get sent to like you shows maybe like, bang Taylor Momsen see I don't remember if she's hot or not she's hot okay I think we're for Evan. I don't recall it. I'm gonna like, get a picture of her real quick. Okay. I can't too. I have a phone too. I know, but like usually you make me do it. So <laughs> yeah, even if you're blatantly holding yours, whatever. I'm tired of your fucking. Moms. <laughs> I'm tired of your fucking lunacy. Uh, she's wearing too much eye black. Yeah, but look at her when she was in Gossip Girl. Is that when she's just like regular blonde girl? Yeah, because she was like on um. On that TV show, I guess it's probably this like first pick of her. Yeah, but well, she's not wearing any eye black. Like she looks like she's a normal like girl. Yep, she's like a skinny blonde chick. Like how could you not want to hit that? I didn't say that. I didn't. Want how? To. Why are you yelling at me? Because you deserve to be yelled at. I think it made her look worse putting all that eye black and shit. Oh yeah, I'm not down with that look. Like the raccoon eyes, I don't really like. I don't mind that, but she just did too much. She looked fine how she was. I think it's just because she's like trying to rebel and doesn't be like, I don't want to just do it because everybody thinks I'm a cute Barbie. Yep. Yeah, she just like made herself try like too much black. I don't know. But when she was just like normal blonde, she looks fine. She's very hot. Very pretty. Very pretty girl. I think she's okay. I don't think she's that pretty, but I think she's okay. I don't understand your standards sometimes. No, it just doesn't have anything that pops out to me. I know, I'm just saying, I just don't understand your standards she sometimes. She doesn't look bad, she just doesn't do anything for me. I know, I don't know who does, though. I don't know. Did we, what are the top three again? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, Emma Watson's number one for me. Yeah, Emma Watson. Like, that's, that's for you. It's, like, I mean, she didn't even make my list. I'm like, not really into Emma Watson. Huh? I'm not really into Emma Watson. Yeah, that's fine. Like it's. I know. It's, I just. I, I. I like. She's the the chick that you like a lot. That I really don't see the thing. Yeah, but a lot of people like her. Yeah, a lot of people do. So I mean, I, maybe I'm, I'm wrong. I'm not saying she's a slut, but her favorite shade of lipstick is penis. I know. I got that earlier. That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, did you know that picture you sent me of Manziel and fucking LeBron James was how I knew that he got drafted to the Browns? Like <laughs> when you said that to me, I was like, oh, if Manziel got drafted to yeah, the Browns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Because I was at work, so I didn't get to keep up with it. And I like saw that. I was like, oh, shit. I, but I thought they used their actual pick on him. You I Johnny. Know. You only got to stay. That is a real pick, though. No, I mean, I, I didn't know they used their real pick, like the Browns. I thought they used their actual first-round pick. They didn't trade back up to get him. They did trade back up to get him. I know. I didn't know that. I thought they used but, but the they number four pick or whatever. Yeah, them. I thought they used their actual pick that they had to get him. 
I don't know. I'm not sure how to describe my standards or whatever or what I like. Uh, it used to be skinny blonde chicks. It's still kind of. But. I still I, I, But the chick that you like our soulmates with apparently is not definitely not blonde. It's like brown hair. Yeah. I don't know. And Michelle was not a blonde. She was a blonde at the time. It was like a dishwater blonde, though. She, she had a really black... No, actually, her hair was, like, darker. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, but she was really, really, like, like super blonde at one point. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not skinny nor blonde. They got that ass, though. Yeah, that's true. I do got that donk donk I got that Tatanka tank. <laughs> Is this, is this Taylor Swift, like, somebody imposed her face on this other person? Or is that somebody else that's not her that just kind of looks similar? I think it's someone who just kind of looks like her. Okay. But Taylor Swift has not, she's just a tall, skinny, rail I chick. Fuck her. She looks like she got a boob job. Like, somebody was, like, comparing pictures of her for, like, a couple years ago, then more recently, and her tits look like they're bigger. Well, um, a couple years ago she was, like, 17, so it stands a reason that she might have finished maturing, but she could have got a boob job. What you got to do is look at the the line of the boobs. If it comes yeah. from up here, then it's real. But if it starts down here, then it's yeah. fake. Yeah, exactly. That's a that's a little podcast life tip. Podcast <laughs> podcast boob tip. H- has uh, and all you ladies can get the podcast dick tips. Oh. <laughs> you should have posted something today about uh, mother, tips, uh, on Mother's Apple Day, like uh, yeah, fuck it, like uh. Apple dick ha- Happy Mother's Day to all the hot moms out there. Tag a hot mom. And then you can got all these hot moms getting tagged on your status. <laughs> then you can have your what pick up. of the litter. Tag a hot mom on mm. my fucking Facebook status. Happy MILF Appreciation Day. I posted that up and then it got deleted. Really? On yeah. Yours? Yeah. Who the fuck deleted it? I don't know. It's strange. No one else has access to my account but me. Shout out to all the hot moms. Oops. Shout out to all the hot moms. Tag. Tag a hot mom. Probably be like people like tagging their mom or something. That'd be, like, that's kind of weird. Yeah, it's disturbing. Why would you tag not? your that's mom? That's creepy. Like, I'm just trying to get hot moms tagged on my Facebook status so I can tag them in my house. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> so has, has Leanne successfully kept her daughter away from you so far? So far. <laughs> She's a chubby chaser. Allegedly. And now I'm not morbidly obese. I'm chubby, fat. I'm still fat. I still got a ways to go, but I'm not That's... as bad as it was. Yeah. So I might be in her range where she's like, ooh, ooh. Now you're do teaching. what you do. <laughs> do what you do, girl. Work the... Come girl, let me get your pussy wet. That girl is poison. Poison. Po- poison. Poison. Bell Bib DeVoe. That song's awesome. I agree. I'm down with Bell Bib DeVoe. Uh, yep. So, uh, any new wrestling oh, stuff going shit. on? What? Outside of Jeremiah's house, it's seriously like flooded. Like, that flash flood warning is legit. Go on Facebook and look at Jeremiah's picture that he posted. Going on Facebook. But uh, any new wrestling uh, stuff going on? I haven't got to watch it. I think it Paige bit. is hot. Yeah, she is. She's a butt chin. That bothers me. But other than that, she's hot. Get her a little diaper for her butt chin. Here's a little diaper, baby. Here's a little, little wipe it up for you. I like her because she has a different look. But I hate when female wrestlers yell in their matches. Like, yeah. ah! Like the, ah! It's like, like female like, tennis players, dude. Yeah, it, like, ah! I don't, I don't, Necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. I just got texted. Bye. Uh, good guys are hard to find. Sad face. I'm like, uh Oh, because the bitches don't look. They're all. They're all right there in the friend zone. Yeah, right where you left them, bitch. Tell her. Tell that motherfucker. Well, actually, that her, so. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that it's probably a yeah. bigger chick. Yes. I friend zoned her, but. Yeah. I'm sorry. Fat chicks love my nigga Keith. I'm just not into it. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Hey, man. I'm not good down you for that. You should be. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> All right. I hate you for not banging fatties. 
There's a couple tricks on uh, on the uh, on my works route that I would like to tap. I know you've you've mentioned this. Yeah. Once once kind of skinny. There's like really not much to her. That's Ken is. Huh. Is Kenny still dating that one chick from Bloomington? How I know he never originally even told me that he had a girl. Okay, my I only asked that because he's been hanging out with a chick.